Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you for asking. Good, good. Where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Seoul, South Korea. Nice, nice. What's, it's very, what's it like it's very, there? The late night. It's so very late? late. Yeah. So why are you up so late? Um, <laughs> I, I'm a housewife and uh, my kids are very young, um, six and uh, four. So oh. uh, um, they are uh, sleeping, sleeping yeah, now. So I'm, uh, I have, I have uh, had uh, my uh, spare time. Yeah. Your spare time is very late at night. Yes. <laughs> so. I'm so sleepy, but um, as, soon, um, as soon as I met you, I'm, I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell me why you're learning English. Yeah. Um, uh, um, I'm not a I'm not a student I'm not a um, I'm not a worker but um, learning English is so so um, so interesting and funny yeah and uh, I have uh, when I have uh, when I have a uh, stress a uh, stress out um learning english make me release about about that okay wow wow and it looks like a puzzle it looks like a puzzle so yeah like you you know korean uh word order and the uh, english order word order is totally different totally different so okay that's, yeah that's very awkward um awkward like me uh, especially uh, East uh, East Asian, but East Asian, especially Korean, yeah, Korean and Japanese. Yeah, but um, I told you, uh, learning English is um, looks like a uh, look look puzzle. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, what uh, putting word is so footing walls are so interesting and very very fun putting words in the right order do you find that there are things that you can say in korean that you cannot say in english not that you don't know the words but like the concept mm -hmm. is different yeah uh, like what um uh, i i think uh, um your countries and um and my country uh, our countries are has different cultures so what order and um idiom <laughs> idiom yes yeah yes. Idiom, yeah we have uh, like idiom but um that uh, that um uh, deep that is totally different but um if uh if I think deeper, deeperly, um, those are very similar, because um, thinking, um, thinking, is um, whenever um, same, whenever same, wherever, again. Yeah, wherever. Yeah. Oh, everybody can think. Yes. The same. Yes. Everybody mm -hmm. thinks. Yeah. Okay. So tell me one Korean idiom, but you have to tell me in English. So say it in mm -hmm. in, in Korean, and then tell me what it means in English. And I'll tell you uh, if we have one. Yeah. Um. For example. Um. For example, very easy. Uh, very easy means. I think uh, I heard piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, we have a uh, we have a. Uh, uh, Mm, we have a very similar um, idiom, like idiom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is it in? What's the idiom in Korean? Is it is it cake? No. Also, no. No. Yeah. Uh, we have. Uh, mm, we 
we said like this, Sigun Jung Mokki, um, uh, if I uh, interpret that sentence, um, uh, that's very easy, easy like, like, um, like eating cold soup, cold soup. Yeah, what, hot what soup is, is yeah. Uh, eating hot soup is so uh, pretty hard, but cold um, cold soup is um, pretty pretty easier than. It's a lot easier. Yeah, okay. Easier, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the same. It's the same thought, just expressed differently. Mm -hmm. You know, cake is very easy to eat. Yes. Love cake. And, and um ma many uh, other sentence other idiom we have other idiom right other idiom um you guys have uh, an other an other idiom but we have like this um white white um if I if I uh if I leap to this this light paper um we uh, we can uh, that's easy to together that's easy that's easy together that's easy to repeat together oh um, once you rip it up rip it apart you can't put it back together uh -huh. um if you want this paper mm -hmm. At least, at least, um, we um, it's better to leap. It's better to leap to, together. Uh, that uh, that means um, that means um, that means work together is easier than alone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you see how idioms are shaped by language and shaped by culture. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah. Um, we have one that uh, I would say, ooh, she's in between a rock and a hard place. Mm -hmm. So here's the rock. She's here. And here's the hard place. You know, she's she's in between. So no matter what decision she makes, it's going to be a hard decision. It's it's going to be, you know, it's it's like choosing between children or something. It's just impossible. It's an impossible decision. Uh -huh. And no matter what decision she makes, it's going to be bad. It's going to mm -hmm. be bad for her. So. Yeah. Um, but um, let's see, let's see another one. Looking for the silver lining in the clouds. So uh -huh. if there's a storm and you look for the silver lining in the storm. Um, I, I heard it be before, yeah. Uh, let's see, blessing in disguise. So um, let's say you, you, somebody wrecks their car. Oh, that's mm -hmm. horrible, right? But they get enough insurance money to buy a newer car than the one that they had. Mm -hmm. So that's a blessing in disguise. You didn't think anything good could happen from wrecking your car. Mm -hmm. And then something does. So... Um, Okay, now you give me another one that's in Korean and then explain it to me. Mm. Um, uh -huh. I, um, I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm incredibly happy and glad. Uh, I'm, I'm on the cloud nine, right? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. We have that. Is that the same in Korean? Yes. It is okay, but but um uh, we we says like this uh, uh I um I'm very happy so I would I would 
be I would fly in the sky. Oh, okay. Yeah, fly in the sky. Okay. Okay. Um yeah, eating is um so hard. <laughs> yeah, but they so they hard. are because they are ground in cultural in, in culture yeah. completely. The words mm -hmm. the words are secondary. You know, um, yeah, it's all about how different cultures see, mm -hmm. see the world. Um, a lot of people say that Americans are we're irreverent or disrespectful mm -hmm. um, because we don't have a formal way that we show respect to people. Um, so I think that's true. I think our culture, I think it, it looks like, you know, we're not very respectful to other people because we don't have something that shows mm -hmm. formally respect. And we don't shake COVID. We don't shake hands anymore. <laughs> you know, that used to be, that used to be a sign of, res, of respect. It's like, Oh, and you would shake somebody's hand, somebody that was important. You didn't yeah. shake hands with everybody. You know, mm -hmm. but if somebody was important, you would you would shake their hand. Now nobody's shaking hands. So again, yeah. it's eroded another one of our last things that mm -hmm. shows people shows other people how much we respect this person. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We don't have formal and informal language anymore. Now, when I was a kid, there was more of a formal and a more of an informal language. Um, but now there are words that you would say and you would not say in the office, like you wouldn't mm -hmm. cuss in the office, you know, you wouldn't say bad words in the office, but there aren't, there's not a specific way of speaking anymore that's just for the office that you wouldn't say to your friends. Yeah. Um, now what you say is very different, mm -hmm. but not how you say it. So does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So in Korea, how do you show somebody that you, that you respect them? Um, uh, um, uh, nowadays, Korea, uh, Korea, um, Korea wind looks, uh, means, um, K, K, uh, K culture, K culture is oh, okay. Spread. Is, uh, is spreading um, your country and all around the world. Yeah, I I heard about about um, Mascom Mascom from Mascom. Uh, my country's um, my country's drama drama um, main character Lee Sung Lee Sung Jae is um, appeared American talk show. Mm. talk show mm -hmm. so um, many people uh, many people um says like it is um he is very classical and he is very hum uh, humble a pariah uh, like this uh, my country's uh um korean uh korean's greeting is looks like this yeah. okay okay mm -hmm. so koreans bow to each other yes yes now would it be because I know this about Korea, would it be appropriate for me to bow to someone when I'm in Korea, even though that's not my tradition? Mm. Yeah. It would be? Okay. Yes. So somebody wouldn't think that it's silly that, mm. <laughs> you know, just like I wouldn't think that it was silly that somebody shook hands if it, it even if that wasn't their culture. Yeah. So, but, but we follow, uh, we are following um, Western, Western, especially America culture. So uh, when we met, um, friend and uh, yeah, friend and other people, other people, yeah, we, um, we, we do like this hug, yeah, hug each other, <laughs> hug yeah. and yeah, shake hands. Yeah. I'm sorry. I would like to see other cultures keep their own culture. Mm -hmm. and and not 
I feel like America doesn't have much of a culture. You know, mm-hmm. we people that came to America, like yeah. Italians and the Irish, and I think that they're, yeah. they're yeah. <laughs> in their communities, they have culture and traditions. Yes. Um, but I think just Americans that are just Americans that don't have an immigrant community, mm-hmm. I don't feel like we really have a culture. Now, I think different regions do have cultures. I I live in Chicago now, uh-huh. but I, I used to live in West Virginia, and it's yeah. very rural, um, a little bit Southern, not a lot Southern, just a little think, bit Southern. Yeah, you guys are very, uh, you guys are uh, conservative, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not. Are you not? Uh-huh. I'm not very conservative. Um, mm-hmm. If you mean by conservative that, um, like, I don't really care what people do. I don't feel like I have an opinion on whether somebody's gay or straight mm-hmm. or whatever. I really, I really don't care. It's not my <laughs> business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, until and, until that person comes into my life. Uh-huh. It is a friend or like if um, my daughter chose someone mm-hmm. or whatever, I, d- I really don't have an opinion. Everybody gets to live their own life, mm-hmm. you know, and I don't, I don't, I don't get to vote <laughs> on how they <laughs> live their lives, you know, until they come into my circle. And then we have to, we have to make a compromise about how we're going to live in each other's lives. Mm-hmm. But no, I don't care. I think that people should, I don't think that there should be any, any homeless people. Mm-hmm. We're the richest country in the world. Why do we have homeless people? Why? I do, I do not understand uh-huh. why. Um, I don't know why we don't all have health care. I don't know why we don't all have free health care. Mm-hmm. I think that's, it's ridiculous. Um. I don't think Jeff Bezos should have all of that money or mm-hmm. Mark Zuckerberg or any of them. I mean, how can you have, how can you be worth several billion dollars? So there are 7 billion people on the planet. Mm-hmm. If he has 200 billion, does that mean he could give away seven billion? He could give everybody on the planet a billion dollars. Hmm. Yes, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if he has if he had 10 billion dollars and he gave away 7, he would still have 3, but everybody on the planet would have a billion dollars. Yeah. So why does he get to keep all of that money? Not not I'm not against capitalism. I'm just saying that there's in some there's something inherently wrong with somebody being able to amass mm-hmm. that amount of money. And not just one or two people, but you know, Jeff Bezos has billions of dollars, Elon Musk ha- has billions of dollars. You know, where did all these billions of dollars come from? Well, they came from people working very hard. Yes. And they and they don't have a billion dollars to show for it. You know, if you're a billion dollar company, how do you pay your how do you pay your employees 20 bucks an hour? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're making a billion dollars on their back, how is it you, you know, you could pay them, you could pay them all a hundred thousand dollars a year and not even begin to scrape the billions of dollars that you rake in. I am. So I'm not very conservative that way. Uh Uh-huh. I think that my government should spend its money wisely. So I'm conser- I'm considered conservative that way that um, I think the government should spend money on its people, mm-hmm. not in necessarily beefing up the, the military, you know, mm-hmm. I, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I don't think that we, I think we have enough. I think, if two countries want to go to war, each of us has enough stuff to blow up the planet. So I think we should put our resources towards something else. You know, yeah. uh, again, why are there starving people? 
why are there um, people with no health insurance? Why are there people that live in, you know, poor homes? You know, I just don't see any, I, I just don't see any reason that for that. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways to do it, not to talk your ear off, but what it would be to make them pay taxes, just like everybody else. If they had to pay 15% of $25, $200 billion, then mm -hmm. that, would be, that would be fair. Because I have to pay 15% of what I make. Mm -hmm. They need to pay 15% of what they make. Yeah. And we wouldn't have any debt. Our whole country would be out of debt because if they each paid 15%, that's more than several trillion dollars, <sighs> you know? And I think our national debt is like $3 trillion. Mm -hmm. So we could pay off our whole national debt if they would just pay their taxes. Yeah. So. Yeah, likewise, my country, uh, my country... It's not different, not different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think I think all country, all capitalist countries, are that way. Yeah, but I think what's happening is there are more and more people that don't feel like they can reach their dreams. Yes, and now they know that they're never going to be able to make enough money to reach yeah. their dreams before, you know, the great American dream was that you could work hard and mm -hmm. you could get things. This isn't really true. Oh, really? Yeah. So actually, um, everybody, um, out of, out of, out of your country, people want to be there, <laughs> want to be there because they have American dream. Yeah. Include me, include of me. Yeah. Um, if I um, I come the U.S., oh, I would be rich, maybe like this. <laughs> it you know, and it looks like that on the outside, mm -hmm. I, and I understand that it looks like that on the in, outside, but on the inside, there's a lot of corruption and a lot of yeah, yeah, a lot of who you know. So you may apply for a job. It's, it's good right now, but you could apply for a job, but if you don't know anybody there or if they know that, you know, you're not white, um, you may or may not get that job. If you're a woman and they don't want women, they'll find a way to say, oh no, you're not qualified mm -hmm. for this job, even though you are. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of that that we, I don't think, I don't think people outside realize how much um being unfair to women and being unfair to people of color mm -hmm. uh runs our society yeah i i heard the racism is very very serious and um so uh, social crisis is not uh, not peer right not not a state of unstable yeah, the inequities, not just the economic inequities, but, mm -hmm. you know, being as educated as a white man, but yeah. you don't get the job, mm -hmm. that's beginning to, people are not being quiet about that anymore. Before it's like, okay, I'll be quiet about it and I'll just go apply for a different job or I'll be quiet about it and, you know, I'll just take this lesser job. Now, especially especially women and especially black women are like, no, I'm just, I'm more educated than you are. So I, I deserve this job. Yeah. And there's, and there's pressure on companies now because if they find out that that's the way the company operates, yes. even white men don't, I mean, they don't want to work for that kind of a company. So they'll leave. Mm -hmm. And right now there are lots of jobs. And so if you work for a company that's like that, you're just like, okay, I will, I'll apply for other jobs and I'll apply for, you know, maybe a different position or something and leave that company. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. So now the, you know, companies that have, well, Amazon's a perfect example. They were paying people eight, eight dollars and 25 cents an hour to work 16 hours at a time. 
Oh, I love being here. <laughs> yeah, well, now Amazon has to pay people seventeen or eighteen dollars an hour because people just wouldn't work. I mean, why are you going to work for eight dollars an hour and pay daycare and not be home with your kids and not cook and not you know all of that for an amount of money that's not going to make your life any better? Uh huh. So. You know, it's cheaper to not eat out. It's cheaper, you know, can you make it on a lesser job, mm -hmm. an easier job, if you cook, if you pick the kids up from school and they're not in daycare, if you do all of that. And during the pandemic, people yeah. found that they could live on one income mm -hmm. if they cooked at home, didn't have the kids in daycare, um, just didn't have to commute. That's a big one. They didn't have to commute. And so people, especially women, were like, I'm going to stay home. You stay home yeah. with my kids and, you know, go to the PTA meetings and go on play dates and cook at home instead of ordering out. Yeah, um, me too. Yeah. 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 And so. And same situation. Yeah. But they, but they were out working, not realizing how much working was costing them and not just in money, but in you know, not raising your own children. So, yeah. And so, well, my next year, my, uh, our country has a new election. So we, um, we need to vote good, um, candidate. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a good one? Uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> mm. Crazy. <laughs> Because wow. yeah, um, one um, one uh, strong candidate has a big corruption, and he connected uh, dark connection about money. Oh. New, yeah, developing new about developing new town. Mm -hmm. He yeah, he is connected with huge money, and uh, and with gangs. Wow, <laughs> Korea is uh, it can, uh, is very um, developing country right now, uh, economical, econom economically, but uh, um, politics is um, is um, not uh, politics is not not like that, not like that. Okay. So do you have some good candidates? Oh, um, no, no. No. So, yeah. I, um, I do not. Um, maybe I do. I do. I do not. Uh, I do not um, vote any, any candidate. You don't vote? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you normally mm. vote? yes yeah normally you do vote yes okay but this mm -hmm. time it doesn't look like there's anybody <laughs> oh now that's not happened to me at least for for president yes like i knew i knew i would never vote for trump ever i will ne never vote for that man i mean he could be up against Mussolini and I vote for Mussolini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know who Mussolini is. Um, I would vote for, I would vote for, I don't know. I would vote for a bad man before I would vote for Trump. Are, are you satisfied um, Biden, pre President Biden? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, yeah. I really like him. And he's been in the Senate for a long time. He knows a lot. He was vice president to mm -hmm. President Obama. Yes. I, the yeah. Republicans everybody are, love everybody love Obama. Yes. Because he was a he was a great president. Yeah. I um, have Obama books. Obama books. Do you? Yes. He's yeah. a he was a great president and um I wish he could be president again, but yeah. he said Michelle would kill him if he was president and again. He is a good speaker. Yeah, good speaker. Yes, he's a great mm -hmm. speaker.
-hmm. So I'm glad you had some free time to talk to me. Mm -hmm. And it was nice to talk to you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. See you. Bye-bye.